Hi, it's uh, Marcus here, and we have with us Madrika, obviously my wife and business partner. Hi. And today we're going to be talking about various subjects that I think, especially if you have a family, are very, very important. For example, we're going to be talking about the phenomenon of compounding, okay, or some people call it compound growth, where obviously what you do, and we're going to give you some examples that I think you like of how we started with our children doing this uh, when they were very, very young. You'd be surprised uh, at what can happen. Um, so you have some capital invested. And let's say, as you know, we're looking to make 3% a month. Okay, that's what we're looking to make. That's the target. You have your capital and then obviously you make your 3% a month, right? So that then gets added on top, the 3%. Now what most people do when they make 3%, they go out and spend it. But what we do, of course, is we keep it in there. Now you have your capital plus that extra 3%. That's now the new capital. Now you make an additional 3% next month on that and then you have a little bit more in there and, and that grows and what they call exponential growth. Now why are we talking about this today? We're talking about this today because obviously Madrik and I, we have two amazing children, Sienna and Melania. And uh, I always thought, wouldn't it be great if my parents came to me with this big, you know those big checks, those big, uh, ones about this big yeah, the ones that we like, we did for the charity place, and we said, like, investment miles, we went for this run, and we were, but, you know, so that they come and go, Dah! you know, we waited for your, I don't know, 50th or 60th birthday, and uh, here's whatever, half a million, a million, to be honest. Yeah. I, By the time you've compounded, if you were looking at 60, it would be. It would be a lot, million. it would be a lot, <laughs> but I, I'd just be glad with anything right now, but, because um, I'm not sure that they know about compounding, but anyway, um, but, you know, there is no check. I'm like, where is this check? And they keep saying, there is no check. What check? So when we had children, we thought, well, if I, not expecting, but I would have wanted something like that. It would have been nice, eh? <laughs> yeah. It would have been great it to say, here's whatever it is, 100,000, uh, half a million, a million, whatever. It could be 50 million. Look, if you're listening to this, parents, mom and dad, at this stage, anything uh, would, be, would be most welcome. Um, and so, yeah, anything. And, and, and so, if we wanted that, then surely our kids would kind of also want that. Uh, and also we want to do it for them for lots of things like uh, their education. Yeah, I think it's, um, we were teaching this concept and then when I fell pregnant, we talked about it, about how cool it would be if at their 18th birthday, we could actually say this pot is going to pay for their further education if they decided to, or a deposit for a property, you know, to really get them on the ladder. Um, obviously, we, won't, we have not told them about it and probably will not tell them about it for a very long time, but time's on their side. You Actually, know, I'm, gonna time. I, I'm gonna start, to, because I tried telling them about it, mm. mentioning some of the Disney trades that we've done for them, um, but they weren't quite, they started singing Disney songs and stuff like that. Um, I, I was smiling because you said I fell pregnant, but I'm like, I think you fell pregnant, I was very much involved. Um, Anyway, so compounding, very, very important. Now, our kids are, how old now? They're eight, eight and, ten. and ten, right? And, um, and we're going to show you a screenshot, in fact, of their accounts. So we have a, a pension, um, and then when they were old enough, uh, we opened up a junior ISA mm -hmm. as well, a JISA. You know, an individual savings account, but for kids. Okay, and we've been putting money in there, and we've been buying things like Bitcoin and, 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 and stuff like that. And we'll, we'll show you it, um, so I don't have to write it here, but they're only, you've got to imagine they're 10 years old and 8 years old, and combined they already have £80,000 combined in those accounts. Now, when we realise that the average person in the UK has an average of £30,000 in their pension when they retire, the fact that, you know, well, how, how do you feel that as a parent, as a mother, knowing that they already have 80,000, how, how do you each? Well, I think it's a great way to teach them to build a nice little nest egg. I don't believe in even my children. I still teach them a lot of, you know, we teach them a lot of wealth education. And I think that's very important. So I wouldn't want to present them with this chunk of money and go, look at this. I'd like to still teach them 
but as a I think for us it's a good place to kind of you know grow it and use compounding where we didn't have the opportunity to do that because we learned it in our 30s mm. but where you've got they've got zero and they've got those 30 years we didn't have to use compounding yeah. I see it a bonus to us because we can use that money for <coughs> various different things for them yeah and also teach them look what's happened and look how exciting it is for them to kind of come in here and let their the rest go for the growth when we've done that for them yeah so we need we need to teach them now know what to do and I think it's it's time and the other thing of course what they have talking about time um, that that's what they have you know you've got your ROI return on investment at three percent but they've got time they don't really even need to be going for three percent if they make 7% or 10% a year. If you start 30 years earlier than we did, I mean, I started really late. I mean, my pension, I really started extremely late. I mean, I, I don't even think it was in my 30s. I woke up to it finally. Um, so yes, they haven't woken up for it, but we've started doing it for them. You don't need 3% a month when you've got this thing here, which is time. You listening maybe are not eight or 10, I'm assuming you're not eight or 10, so therefore you probably don't have as much time, so you do need to learn how to do this, or to get as close as possible to this, as close as you can. But they don't even need to do that, which is why I'm so excited about that. And as a mum, I'm really going, you know, I'm really passionate about families to doing this for their children, because a nice is, you know, wrapped, it's, you know, it's tax efficient, and they've got time. Here, you have to start doing different types of trades and more trades and have a bigger pot of money to get the return on investment. And here, they have time. And this was when we were teaching it at our seminars, I really felt, my God, these people have brought their teenagers along. Do you remember we used to have lots of people bringing their teenagers? I'm like, God, they should start doing that. Mm, then. Absolutely. And then for me, when I was pregnant, I was like, oh my God, we've got to do this for ours. You yeah. Know? And so that is so important for your babies. So, so important and uh, building that nest egg, which is fantastic, but then also teaching them how to do it so you're just not keeping them weak. That's very, very important. That's on our next step. And you're right, Madrika, you know, in terms of time, yeah, this 3% you don't need, but you don't need to spend as much time. I mean, we teach people how to spend 20 minutes a day. Well, for your children, you don't. I mean, I look at their accounts maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, because you just don't need to do so much because they have all this time, you know? So there's no pressure at all. Look, use this information. Uh, we can help you with that, of course, uh, but start as early as you possibly can. That is crucial. Mm -hmm.